Commonwealth begins its fourth attempt to convict a Louisville man accused of hiring a teen to kill the star witness in his brother's murder trial. Dwan Hammond is charged with murder for the 2009 death of Troya Shekels. Opening statements in the case are underway right now. Our Marissa Alter is live outside the Judicial Center with the very latest. Marissa? Karen, the prosecution already wrapped up its opening statement, and the defense is doing the same right now. Both sides are laying out to jurors what they'll see and hear over the next couple weeks. You're going to hear that in the minutes or the seconds preceding her death, Troya Shackles was seated at this bench that you see under this pavilion, and that she knew something bad was about to happen. And she started to run away. She tried to get away. She couldn't. And at the end of this trial, we're going to ask you not to let the defendant get away. Assistant Commonwealth Attorney Doris Lee Gilbert said Shekels was at Shelby Park when a man dressed in black with a red bandana ran by and shot her three times in the back. Gilbert said that person was 16 year old Stephen Petway, but that it was Dwan Hammond who orchestrated the hit to prevent Shekels from testifying against his brother Lloyd in his upcoming capital murder trial. Defense attorney Ted Shows countered this was a bad investigation from the start, plagued by tunnel vision. He said police determined in the first hour Hammond was responsible, then over time bullied witnesses into certain testimony and also hid evidence. They have hidden evidence of his innocence, they have ignored alternative perpetrators, and they have made multiple deals with the devil to let people out of prison in the hopes that they will come in here and testify that Dewan had something to do with it. That's the Commonwealth's case. No physical evidence but that. Now, Hammond's first three trial attempts fell apart due to missing witnesses, withheld evidence, also allegations of prosecutorial misconduct, and allegations of bribing a witness not to take the stand. The prosecution will call its first witnesses coming up after lunch. We'll have the latest tonight on WLKY News at 5 and 6. Reporting live outside the Judicial Center, I'm Marissa Alter, WLKY News. Marissa, thank you. Stephen Petway was convicted of Troy Shekel's murder last year. He's serving a 55 year prison sentence.